story, kids. So today we have a really, really fun book for you. But first, I have some awesome information. This is our last video before summer. Almost. Well, next week we have the Father's Day bonus video, which will be coming out on Father's Day, which is why it's a bonus video. And then after that, well, school's over, which means it's officially summer, even though summer is actually on, starts on Father's Day. Summer starts the minute school ends on Friday. So, our summer videos, I don't think they're going to be filmed right here in my bedroom like these are. I'm pretty sure they're going to be filmed somewhere else, and there may be a couple more surprises in store for you. The books are going to be all about summer and camp and all that so if you go to camp that's going to be really fun if you don't you're going to be home for summer so either way hopefully you can still watch story kids so those summer videos are definitely going to be there so this is our last actual video until school ends at least here in Port Washington I'm actually graduating daily this year which is very sad so um let's stop being sad now we have two things to look forward to. Summer and this video coming up right now. So this is The Lonely Moose by John Segal. And it is very fun. I have a leaf in here. Which smells very good. So. Let's start, shall we? Alright. Deep in the woods, at the foot of a mountain, the de moose. He had no family, few friends, and rarely entertained visitors. What's so sad? See the little moose? He spent his days alone in the center of the lake, like an island unto himself. So it's like he has his own little private forest. That's nice. Early one evening, Moose was out gathering pond weeds when he heard a strange fluttering sound followed by a splash. In front of her, him was a small bird clinging to a lily pad. Moose hesitated for a moment, then tilted his head and offered an antler. Bird climbed on. So there's Moose and Bird. Moose waded ashore and gently shook his antlers. Hey, thanks for the ride, said Bird. Then, with great difficulty, he flapped his wings, rose several feet in the air, and... What's going to happen? Suspense. Fell straight to the ground. Yikes, moaned Bird. Yikes, indeed, groaned Moose. Yikes, indeed. <laughs> Night was falling. The forest was dark. This is no place for a bird that cannot fly, said Moose. Bird, come now. Look at all those scary little monsters, and here's Moose and Bird. He got her out of there just in time. My hero, you saved me! Quiet, said Moose. It's late. Early next morning, Moose awoke to singing. Good morning, Chirpbird. Quiet, said Moose. It's early! So I guess the only time you can make noise is like noon to two. <laughs> By afternoon, Bird was hungry. They walked to the meadow to dig for worms. Try one, said Bird. They're delicious. Miss, try one. Oh, revolting, he thought. So there's Bird, yummy, yummy worms, and there's Moose, yucky, yucky worms. All summer long, their days were full. Most mornings, moose and bird picked berries and gathered weeds. In the afternoon, they bathed in the lake. 
Sometimes they climb to the top of the mountain just to enjoy the view. Days became weeks and birds still could not fly. Poor bird. One morning while out for a walk, Moose and Bird smelled something. Smoke? Smoke? Uh oh, you know what that means to Fire! Fire! The sky filled with dark, bitter smoke. Moose ran. Bird fell. Bird! Bird! cried Moose. Bird! Oh no. Bird nervously flapped his wings. He rose into the air, paused, and then flew away to safety. Good job! When the smoke cleared, Moose was alone. Bird was gone. Seasons change. Summer turned to fall and fall into winter. Winter became spring. Moose was sad. Where's bird, he wondered. The weather grew warmer. Leaves appeared on the trees. Flowers bloomed. The forest was coming back to life. Moose was at the pond gathering fresh pond weeds when he heard a familiar fluttering sound. Is it bird? Hey, Moose! Bird is back! Welcome home, Bird. I missed you. I missed you too, Moose. I brought some friends with me. Wow, look at all those birds. So it's been almost a whole year, but Bird's back, and look at all those new friends, right? Friends? Moose, you can never have too many friends. And they're all flying away with him. The end. So did you like the lonely moose? All right, let's put that mm, yummy smelling leaf back into its place. So I hope you like the lonely moose. I will see you next week for the Father's Day special. And until then, this is Hannah from Story Kids. Keep on reading, everybody. Goodbye.